Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me for a jewelry jar. You may say, well, that doesn't look like a jar. It looks like a bag. Well, it is, but it's kind of become a generic term to call it a jewelry jar. So that's what I'm doing. This is a $79 jar. I was just thinking about how I had bought a few at actually $89, so pretty much $90. But I forgot to think about the fact that I actually got a discount that day. I had actually shopped during a Wednesday, which was very unusual, to actually find them on sale. And they always make sure that the color tag is not the same color tag on the bags. That I've been told by the employees. And I was also told that she was thinking about um, putting them in, in a boutique price. But either way, they are going up. We don't know what's in them. Sometimes it's wonderful. I found gold and amethyst last time. Beautiful, chunky, beautiful necklace. Um, Tiffany cuff, just all kinds of beautiful things have come out of here. Yerman, Bulgari, just amazing, amazing stuff. Not the very first time I find Tiffany either. I think I've probably found about total, probably five Tiffany items in these jars. So I still go back. I'm still a very addicted gambler when it comes to this thing right here. <laughs> So if you're new to the channel, you love jewelry as much as I do, you like looking at it, listening to it, don't forget to subscribe. The subscribe button is right there on your right. Hit the bell for all notifications because you get like a little drop down menu. Make sure that you hit it for all notifications and make sure that you answer the call when you get a notification. Click it so that way YouTube knows, hey, she really does want to watch Thelma's video. Let's keep sending her notifications because if you ignore it till later in the afternoon then they'll stop sending them to you but welcome thank you so much again for being here i have recorded a couple of videos because i am going to um a road trip leaving on a road trip on friday so i have a whole bunch in the bank for you to see i've been opening a few and um this one I wanted to do live. I hadn't touched base with you guys in a while. I will probably come out tonight too as well. I'm going to try to do a heart to heart tonight around 8 or 9 p.m. So I hope you join me for that. That's just a kind of a, kind of a community get together for all of us to just sit around and talk about what we're thinking about. All right. Let me show you the rings I'm wearing because people have asked to see that as well. I'm wearing a, this came out of a jar, guys. This is black spinel. It's amazing. I love it. I actually tried selling it at my auction, but it didn't sell. And now I'm in love with it again because sometimes it fits big and it'll kind of drag over here and it'll hurt. And then I'm really wearing the James Avery quite a bit. So you'll see me talk about this one a few times. This is a Brutalist 60s and James Avery design in sterling. Here is the same design in gold. This just popped out of a jar. I love it. It's gold tone, but it's so fabulous. It's got fleur de -lis on the side and a cross right there. And it's just gold tone. I was hoping it'd fit my husband too because it would look nice on him, but it didn't. So it fit me. And I'm wearing it. All right, let's get started. $79.99 jar. I think I did pay full price for these. But I did get 25% off. Oh, I don't want to stab anything. On the ones that I got for $90. So I'm not crying as much now that I... <laughs> Somebody said, one of you guys saw my What's in My Bag video, which I also love to do those kinds of videos. But out popped a whole bunch of Goodwill receipts. And I said in the video that... Uh, I was almost breaking in a sweat when I was reading what I spent at the Goodwill. And one of my viewers rightly said, your blood pressure went up when you saw those receipts. That's true. That's very, very true. Let me get this capped off here. This cap off. And then I'll say hello to a couple of people. And then we'll proceed to get this done. Because these take about an hour, guys. The ones that I recorded, they also take about an hour, but I can cut them down and you guys don't have to see all the tangles and everything. That's why I like to record a few as well. And I don't like to take too long here because sometimes I get these pesky phone calls and it'll break the stream up and I don't know why it does that, but it does. If it does, we'll just start another one to finish up, but we'll come back later and finish up. Oh, it looks like this one's going to come out right from the middle, which somebody said all the tangles come out worse when you do it right down the middle. But we haven't done that in a while, so let's try it. Like a little Easter egg. We'll just crack it right down the middle here. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, guys, as you walk in the door. If you gotta go, do it before you leave. Hit that thumbs up. That really helps grow the channel as well. So thank you so much in advance for that. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Oh, that's a cool bangle. 
I like. Oh, here's a bangle that came out of one of the jars. I like it. It's kind of red and green. I don't think it's jade, but it's pretty. I like the colors red and green. I feel like they're good vibes. They passed the vibe test. The good vibe test. All right, let me see who's here. Sanja. So y'all can take a look at what you see there. How are you, Miss Sanja? Regina, Carla, Wiseman. Perla, precious Perla, how are you? Um, Carla Wiseman, I said hello, Pam. Thank you guys so much. Cindy, how are you, my friend? Barb Underhill, Maggie's here, Carmen and Linda and Ella. And let me see, Liz Lee, I think she was one of the very first ones in here. Thank you guys so much for being here. Miss Pam, how are you? Carmen Williams, Eva Rodriguez, Maria, and uh, yeah, thank you guys. All right, let's look at this. This was originally priced four bucks, and it's kind of cool. Kind of have it. Kind of has that butterscotch look of bakelite. Of course, it probably is not. I don't recall any bakelite with that kind of a little polka dot. But you never know. I mean, there's some there's some fashion. This is why I love watching old movies. Fashions from the 40s and 30s that are so today, and then they came back retrospectively in the 70s. Do you guys remember the 70s dresses that were so 40s inspired? And of course the platform heels and all that. So you just never know. I love baseball is what this one says. Little pendant. Here's a, oh, this looks like a tortoise shell. I actually have a genuine tortoise shell that is a vintage piece that looks like this, but it's bigger. And what are those? A little earring. What is this? And it's just like a, you know what I think this is, guys? I think this is a clip, a paper clip. Those are cute. A lot of uh, planner people love that. Oh, look, this is running. Casio. These were so hot a few years ago, seven years ago or so. There was like this real resurgence. Again, here we go with retro fashion. And everyone wanted the digital watches of the early 90s. And here is one indeed, Casio. And it's running at the right time. Nice. And it looks like it'll fit me. I should wear it. It looks like it'll fit me. Actually, I had one. A few years ago when my daughter, my middle daughter was in high school and she snatched it from me and she loved it. And that, that's when everybody was wearing them again. They were calling them kicking it old school or something. I don't know. But now they're back. Look how cute that is. I'm not going to leave it on, but that is so pretty. Well, it did stay on, I think, there. I couldn't tell if I snapped it on or not. That's pretty. That's a bingo already, I think, if I can get 40 bucks for that. I'm not sure. I haven't priced them lately on eBay, but those were selling really, really well, especially the Casio, because that's con considered kind of the standard bearer of the digital watch age. This is cute. Just a charm, silver tone. Is this rose quartz? No, it looks kind of like a cat eye. It's pink. Hi, Miss Shirley. This is cute. I love the fact that it is not a stretch. Look at that. It's got a little barrel clasp. Kind of hard to put a barrel class bracelet on, though, I will say that. But that's very nice. That will at least last. Here's a red rhinestone. Kind of lightweight. Hey, Miss Crochet. Ooh, ah, Crochet, how are you? How's the babies? Look at this little mesh. Oh, it's stuck in there. We'll get that later. What is this? Oh, I love this charm. I've actually had this charm, but this one's really nicely made. This one's heavy. With the little binoculars, these are really popular, like on Etsy. You'll see them sell these for travelers and things. That is so cute. I'm not sure how I could hang it. I guess I'll just hook it right there. And it's actually, uh, it actually articulates. It actually rotates. That is precious. Very heavy and enameled as well. Well, good for you. I'm so glad to hear that. They were off to school. Okay. This is cute. I had a, one of these in another jar, and it was beige. Pick your plum. Yeah, and it was also in it with the tag and everything. That's cute in this turquoise color. The other one we got was kind of a white enamel. It was the same exact thing. It was white, though. Cute bracelet. This one's not too bad. So far, I'm happy. $5.99 on this one, originally. Very good condition. Green enamel. Cute. 
I like that. I'm really liking the watch. I'm going to have to list it, though. i got to make money on this jar. What else is in here? What else will pop out with a good and cute candle? This, oh my goodness, this is, this is a big piece, guys. We're going to have to pull out the little display for this thing. Wowzy, look at that. That's pretty. That is really, really a statement piece. It's not heavy either. It looks well constructed. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's a nice piece. I mean, someone can pull that off, I'm telling you. I don't know if it would be me, but someone can pull that off. For sure. Oh, here's another. Okay, we cleaned out a store, I think. Look at this. The same bracelet. This one does not have the tags. And this one is black enamel. This one actually looks like it's a little bigger. I don't know. But that's pretty nice. And, oh, here's one of these wooden ones in the stretch variety. Yes. These are nice. I saw a girl on TikTok wearing a really long bracelet with a cross, and it was so pretty. It reached about that long, but the bracelet was not that wide. It was just that, that charm. It was so cute. Funny the things I notice on some videos, guys. I'm not even listening to the content. I'm just looking at the jewelry. Do you guys do that too? I do that a lot. That's, like I said, one of the reasons I like to watch movies is just to see what people are wearing. <gasps> Look at that! Oh, I thought it was part of the necklace. It says, I love dogs. That's cute. That's a cute one. You would, Miss Sandra? Yeah, it's gorgeous. I'm just trying to picture, like, what do you think? Short hair? Your hair up? Either way, right? Because it's got that all-around look. Is this a Brighton thing? What is it? A belt? A Brighton belt. What a pretty belt. Yeah, that is nice. They threw a belt in here, guys. Look at that. I like it. The mock croc there and gold and silver tone. Kind of a coin look. That's pretty. I love belts. I'm just lazy to wear them. They take planning. <laughs> they take planning and no ice cream for about a month. Yeah. Uh, I think it's Brighton. Does it say Brighton there? What does it say? It says 1995. Um, I, it says the size 20. Oh no, 207. That must be the. That must be the. I don't know. I don't know if that's the. Um, I don't see that it says Brighton anywhere, but it's gorgeous. Look, it has crowns and coins and all kinds of things. How are you, Miss Elizabeth? Okay, I'm glad you're doing well. Here is a mesh. This is cute. This is a mesh chain. I like that. And this is a leather. This is nice. This is real leather. So it is a necklace. Very stiff right now. A little necklace there made of leather. And then we have, um, oh, this is cute, the little argyle bangle. No name brand on that, but that's pretty. And then, what else? Oh, my goodness. Lots of uh, beads of sorts here. This is a nice look, too, but kind of reminds me of... Um, I don't know, berries for Christmas or something? Nice look, though. Look at this. I like that. Bronze, copper, and gold color. Interesting piece. And, oh, this is a nice bangle. Look at this one, this red one. Wow, and a clamper. This looks like those Indian Pakistani ones. Did I lose it? No, that was something else. But this one can actually be put on. Sometimes those are so small they don't fit. 
This one does. This one's nice. Let me take the watch off for a minute so I can show you the bracelet. Wow, that's pretty. Hi, Miss Tracy. How are you? So glad you guys are in. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up when you walk in the door. Or if you got to go, do it before you go. Okay, this is an interesting, but this is the magnet style, guys. So these can be necklaces. They're magnetic. They can be a little bracelet. You can just have all kinds of fun with these. Kind of a hematite look there with some barrel looking beads. And then it's just a really, really long piece. I get a lot of these. You can actually do crafts with these. I have hung these on racks and then used them to hang jewelry off of. Interesting stuff. All right, now we have a glass. Pretty one. Pendant, I cook glass. You like this, Miss Cindy? This is beautiful. I like the colors on that. <clears throat> Excuse me. this in here for a second. Here's a Texas pendant. This is pretty. Silver tone with a genuine turquoise dangle there. That's genuine turquoise. Very cute. Is this Chica? Is that the Alamo? Oh my gosh, that is nice. That's cute. I'll have to wear that on my road trip so people can know I'm from Texas. They can make fun of me, but we laugh. We laugh. Look how pretty. I love it. The Alamo. I don't know what the other little one is, but I love it. That is so cute. And it is like three strands of bronze colored genuine leather. I love that. Here's a, I think this is like a child's necklace here. Or got an earring in there though. Oh, it's got a little dream catcher. That is so cute. Look how tiny that is. Oh my gosh, could that be an anklet? Because I can't even believe a child could wear that. I think that's an anklet with a little faux turquoise on a dream catcher there. Cute. That is real leather. Real leather suede there. Or suede leather. Okay, this is interesting. This is like those that are that I thought you could just roll on. You guys have probably seen those. This one was $7. Wow. Let's look, at, it's even got a clamp. That's a pretty bracelet. Look at that. It's even kind of an oval shape. All beaded, but it's like a heavy metal underneath it. So that's kind of cool. Hi, Miss Jen Bennett. How are you? Lois, welcome. I'm glad you guys are here. We'll be trying to um, upload some recorded ones, guys. So if you guys are in a hurry, I'm trying to make them a little shorter for us, around 30 minutes. But these live ones usually take a little longer. These are kind of cool. When I saw them through the bag, they kind of had a jade Asian look to them. And um, I think because of that disc as well. Those are pretty. I'm glad they matched up. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to make it a nice week. I have... Decided that's what um, what I need to do. Decide to be well. In spirit anyway. Right? So I hope your week is wonderful as well. Everyone who's watching, guys, I hope you're doing well. Staying healthy. Oh, this is cute. I found another one that had silver bangles, but they were more like entwined. These are like just there. They're cute. I think that's a good look. Don't I wish they were in 18 karat gold, but they're pretty. Only because 18 karat gold is just such a rich, beautiful yellow, don't you think? I love the look of that. Okay, we got some office supplies. Not too much in need of that, but yeah, you know I'm going to put it on my fridge. So I can put uh, some um, directives. Take out the trash. Clip up the cereal, that kind of stuff. Okay. A little keychain. It's a nice long one. I have one of these. It's a snake. It's so pretty. I used to dangle it on my purse. This is just beads, though. More keychains. What's this? No, it's a magnet. A little magnet there, too. I could use those on my board when I get back in the classroom. But it's just a plain key ring there. 
put that in the crafter lot. Oh, here's one of those. Oh, this one's cute. I've never seen, this needs to be restrung though, but I've never seen these religious icon with a big one in the middle. That's pretty, but definitely needs to be redone. <laughs> I wore that the other day in a, in a, um, in a video. I think I showed it in the beginning. My, my Tiffany Ruby. I love that rain. Oh, let me see. Some single earrings so far. Is this a Zuni piece? Look at that, guys. A Zuni earring. Now, let's just find them. <laughs> I saw it from the back, guys. Just a little bit of the color, and I was like, that looks like a Zuni piece. Oh, my goodness. I hope we find a match. That'd be that'd pay for the bag right there. And what a nice setting. Can you guys see that? That's pretty. It looks like Sujolite. I don't know if it's all genuine stones. I don't know. It's really pretty, though. And it is 925. It's nice and covered in the back. Very nice design. Not too heavy either. I hope I find the mate. the mate. I'll put that over here. Oh, I hope I find the other one, Miss Cindy. This is cute. These are just two little discs on these wires. Do any of you guys wear these wires? I do. I have one from James Avery. I have one from Sopata. Sopata is a little bit more flexible. My James Avery is a stiff one. I always wanted to get a gold one. I have not done that yet. Um, I just love wearing big medallions on them. I think they look nice. Here are rhinestone hoop. Here, oh, this is a match now. Okay, so that's a little faux door, door knocker style enameled. They are matched. We have a cute shell. This is pretty. This is so delicate. I've had this one before, but the shells have been much wider. That's gorgeous. What a color. Look at that. Another pearl shell. And it's nice and taut. Not stretched out yet. Very nice. Here's another. What is this? Snowman and Santa. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute bracelet, but it looks like it's about to go, too. So I'm going to put that in a bead lot. Now, these are the ones I was talking about that slide on. That's what I thought that other one was. I like these, too. They're very pretty. And they're so easy, and I guess they last longer than the uh, the stretch ones. Oh, here's a little stretch mesh in a gray. Hmm. Here's a big old armband. These are pretty. They're very, very pretty. All right, now we have a rhinestone in the clear diamond color. We had the red one. I have this one, stretch. Another big chunky ring, pearl. Rhinestones are intact, I believe. Let's see if it fits anywhere. Nope, big on that one. Okay, it fits the middle finger there. Nice. Nice fun ring. What watch is this? Oh, this is one of those vintage watches. Let me look at the maker because I found one of these and they sell for like $300 if it's the same one. No, this one is not. I thought it was that brand from the 60s that moves and it makes like a little kaleidoscope picture. But this one looks vintage too. It's, oh my goodness, it has so much Virgin Islands Orbit watch. Yeah, so I think they turn... I think it was a style, which I had never even seen until I found that watch. And my very astute subscribers let me in on the maker. But it was a wind-up. The one I have is a wind-up. This one appears to be a quartz. Because it doesn't say 17 jewels or anything. But I believe it kind of rotates and sparkles really pretty. Interesting watch. But I haven't sold the other one yet. I'm kind of partial to it. Okay, we've got some emoji rings. Feeling sad. Aw, we have a doggy. Looks like a German Shepherd. Looks like a black German Shepherd. What do you think? Pretty. And more of these iconic bracelets. 
or icon, religious icon bracelets. They're all stretched out though, so I think I'm going to put those in a beadlot to be redone. They're pretty. I like the purple. Those are nice. Here is a blue one, the mesh. What did I see here? Oh, Lisa Frank. I think this is Best Friends. Got half of the heart there, I believe. Looks like Lisa Frank. Could just be a wannabe. Okay, another stretch rhinestone. This one's pretty in multicolors. Thanks, guys, so much for hitting that thumbs up. All you have to do is leave the screen for just a minute. Go over by the picture screen, and right below that, there's two thumbs. Hit the one that's pointing up to give it a thumbs up because there's only 39 people that did that, and we are at 113 viewers. These actually had tags. I forget what store they were from, but I found a few in another jar that were blue and white. And they're little presents, so they're kind of a Christmas theme. Very cool. More emoji rings, I believe. Okay, we got happy. <laughs> These are so cute. I think they're darling. And we got the little sad one. So we got three. More beads that came apart. What is this? These earrings are interesting. They actually have little stones and another stone. I don't believe they're silver, but let me get a magnet ready anyway. Well, they're not sticking. Let's see if they say anything. They actually look like sterling, guys. They are indeed sterling. They say 925NV. Hmm. Are those plastic? No, they are glass stones. They might be that diopside. They look like the color of diopside. Those are sterling. They're marked sterling. And look, they have three little stones, maybe CZs. They're very, uh, what do you call it? They have a rich patina on them now. I'm glad they're matched. Funny how they came out together, right? But those are sterling. Those are pretty. I love green. Mustache ring. Lots of loose um, posts. I'll take a really good look at those because some of them could be silver, but they, from so far from what I see, they look like silver tone. We have a purple, blue, different colors there. Put those over there. Oh my goodness, a big heart. We have a match to one of those posts kind of polka dots enameled it is an enhancer style so you can actually put those over a strand of beads or something hey miss kathy how are you i'm glad you're here oh i love this look at those pretty pretty beads i don't know what they are but they're just so exotic the orange ones and even the brown ones are pretty I sell on eBay, Etsy, Macari. I will sell anything you see in a haul that I'm not going to keep or take to auction. So feel free to email me. My email is posted in all of my description boxes of my videos. If there's ever anything you absolutely fell in love with and would like to uh, do a transaction through PayPal, we can always do that. I appreciate your interest. This is gorgeous. I really love it. I love this color. It also reminds me a little bit of butterscotch. Um, is it butterscotch? Amber? Very nice. I don't know. They feel interesting, too. They're not really cold like a stone. They could just be some very nice acrylic. We shall see. And oh, here's an abalone look. It is a silver tone. Another watch over here. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't expect to see a face like that. That's kind of cool. Really big face with uh, whimsy of glitter on that. Nice. Oh, wow. What is this? Cute necklace. This is pretty. I like this. Got that 70s look to it. Look at that. That's nice. It is longer than... I would say it's about 24 inches long. I love the look of a cobra chain, guys. Nothing like it sparkle, right? 
my daughter has taken to wearing a lot of multi earrings and multi styles and she's been wearing these long ones like this in gold that she finds in my jars or that I find in my jars <laughs> and we don't have matches for her she just wears one in one ear and a different one in the other ear here's a piece of something it looks like it came off of a I don't know some kind of necklace or something probably that'll go on a crafter lot more magnets oh this is one of those pop things that go on your phone yeah I threw that in there and that looks I don't know what that is marble or something hey Miss Lena how are you this is cute it is a magnet another magnet I'm gonna need those for my board I'm telling you here's a pretty necklace look at this guys this is glass Okay, they were going to do a lanyard here, I'll bet. Look at that. And that's, just, that's just too heavy for me to wear for a lanyard. I would probably, I don't know, put something else. Take that off and put a pendant. I do love the look, but only if you're carrying one key. No, no, it's a necklace. There we go. All right. Darn. I was already giving it another identity. Because I have made some into lanyards, guys, that are made of beads or found them. And they're just so heavy. I carry only about three keys for my classroom and bathrooms and things. That's gorgeous. And they get to be cumbersomely heavy. What a pretty combination of colors. Light blue, dark blue, and even a little green in there. That's beautiful. I love it. That's a nice piece. Again, this bag was $79. This was the $79 jar. And look, I think they made matching earrings because they look like the same beads. These are pretty blue thank you miss jennifer i appreciate the reminder how are you more little posts guys here oh ooh, ooh, ooh. what do we have here so cute did it go black i'm telling you every time i get a phone call it goes black we may have to come back we may have to do two let me know if it's a blank screen that's what happens with my phone calls i don't know why that's one other reason why I don't like to do these in the afternoon. I seem to get so many calls. Look at this beautiful piece, guys. Can you guys see everything? Oh, I found the other Zuni. It was attached to that necklace. Awesome. Okay, fabulous. Fabulous. I'm glad it didn't go. Look at that, guys. These are pretty. That's a very elaborate design. These are well made. A lot of times you see a lot of these in trade shows and things, and they're so cheaply made. The sterling is just whim, you know, flimsy and not good. Isn't that a beautiful necklace? I'm sticking the Zunis on, guys. I need to put them on. <laughs> my husband was laughing at me when I put on my rings for today's video. <laughs> he says, you'll never change. Because I was like, yep, that works. Yep, that works. <laughs> And he just, so now I put the zoonies on. Yeah, we got it. Nothing but good vibes today. Nothing's going to ruin my day. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Pink, green, and orange. Corally orange there. That's gorgeous. Any maker? No maker on that. It's not heavy either. These are a ceramic, I think. Yeah. Or maybe even like a dyed halide on these. See the orange has like a little matrix. Super cool. I like that a lot. Okay. Guys, if I didn't say hello, it's not that I don't want to, but I want to get through the jars so we don't take up half your afternoon here. But I appreciate you being here, and I hope that you took the time to subscribe if you haven't done so. The subscribe button is on the right there. Be sure and activate the bell for all video notifications. This is on a stretch, which I never understand why they do that, but I'm going to put these beautiful beads in a bead lot because this is a gorgeous color. I just love this color. I can't even describe it. Honestly, I have no words to describe this color. Looks like nail polish is all I can say. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. James, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Let me take a sip of my room temp uh, coffee. Hmm. 
Good coffee's good though, even if it gets a little cold, right? More studs. These are red. Little piece of something. This looks like it went on some kind of a necklace. See that? That's pretty. Almost looks like a Brighton too. Okay, I did find a charm bracelet, something like this last time as well, in another jewelry jar. This is so cute. I've got to take this to my granddaughter. This is so pretty. It's got different hats, coach, nurse, but it says, thanks, mom. I may have to clip that one off. I think it's so cute. And I've, that's already the second one I get. Ooh, here's some crystal, loose crystals. All these loose beads I'll put in a bead lot. This looks like a gemstone right here. Some kind of blue stone. Bead lot. Here's a bracelet. Really? Oh my gosh, I drink coffee up until the wee hours of the night. Okay, this is 925. Feels very light. It does say Italy though. But I'm going to check that. That's gorgeous. It's not a very heavy bracelet. It says 925 Italy, so that's nice. That's pretty. It's probably a hollow link. That's probably why, but it's in good condition. And there's the mark there. And I believe there's another one. I have actually, this one right here, Miss Kathy, I have actually brought this one to the auction. The black one. And it no one no one bought it. And it was a, a giveaway price. Then I fell in love with it again. That's what happens. <laughs> you can ask a lot of my customers that have been, been with me since it's been a year we've been doing these auctions. And they will know that. They'll ask me the next time, did you bring it back that you had last week? And I'm like, no, because I fell in love with it again. <laughs> I'm not ready to sell it. Isn't that cute? And uh, yeah, that's what happens. I don't know why. Oh, we did get a match on the I Love Dogs. That is so cute. <laughs> Here's a charm. What? It's just silver tone, I think. And it looks like a little girl hand, with a little handful of flowers there. That's what I think. But let me look. It could be sterling. Don't see a mark, but it is hefty. I'll check this one. Let me check it with the magnet, too. Everything else is stuck to the magnet. Yeah, well, the ring stuck. I don't think the ring is sterling, but look, see, only the ring is sticking. The little girl is not sticking at all. Yeah, I think the little girl might be sterling. Yeah, that's a big magnet. <laughs> Very much. Very powerful. Together. Another kids. Oh, I have to take this one too. I'm going to overwhelm my granddaughter with jewelry. My daughter-in-law is going to give me a look. <laughs> like more stuff to pick up. Look at this. Another key ring. This is from the United Way or something. Children's United. It's a nice key ring. I don't like to carry very heavy key rings, so they weigh down my purse. Oh, we have a swimmer now. She's enameled. She might be sterling too. Let me see what she says. She actually looks like she's about to dive. This one also looks like sterling. Really has that look. She's got a very nice enameling too on her bathing suit, and she's got a bathing cap. No, well, it's sticking, but she's not sticking either. I don't know. I mean, the magnet test is only a preliminary, guys, so don't think that anything that doesn't stick. I always ask the test, too. Here's something that's sterling with an A. Beautiful font on that. And the chain, I believe, is sterling. It looked like it said sterling, so let's check on that. And so far, so good. Quite a few sterling pieces in this $80 bag. I'm happy. Guys, hit that thumbs up before you go. I know you may have to go, but don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Okay, it says 925 Italy CW or OW. The two letters are quite close together on that 
chain, very nice chain. And then the A says 925 with the same mark. So nice. That is my daughter's initial, but I don't think she wears initials too much anymore. She's also into gold now. She already told me she preferred gold. Gold tone, because she doesn't have very much real gold. I wish that I could buy her some, but uh, sometimes we get, we get it, sometimes we don't. She can buy her own one day, right? All right, this one says baked bread. Baked bread. That is the name on this one, and it has three charms. It has a jazzer size charm, a little black crystal, and a pave jazzer size. I don't believe it says anything. It looks like a nice. It looks like a nice little charm, though. Let me see if these stick. That one sticks. The middle one doesn't stick. That's interesting. But they're probably all silver tone. And let me check the chain out. No, the chain just says baked bread. No mark on that. I think we had a match to this little earring. Lots of... Okay, these are beads, so I'm going to put those in a bead lot. Hey, Miss Verna. Oh my gosh, this is a little kid's bracelet. It's tiny. It's got little shoes on it. Oh, how cute is that? It's got socks. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh, that is darling. That is really cute. Well, it could be bigger. It's got an extender, so that's nice. And we've got some Jingle Bell earrings. Gold. I think all of these are little charms. Another swimmer. These are probably silver tone. This one's going to dive. Yeah, lots. Oh, this is a nice little stud post. I will look at these very carefully. Look, this little back is marked. I see it marked right there. And it's and the stud does not look like it's genuine. But let me see what the back says. I could actually see a thing on it. Now Avon marks their stuff. See? Oh god, I was right. It's Avon. Avon's always fooling me. I think it might say 14k, but it says Avon. They mark their backs. So, but check them anyway, because sometimes they are gold, and sometimes they could be sterling as well. And I like to sell my sterling earrings with the sterling backs when I can. It's a little strand of broken beads, too. Here's a nice necklace. Looks like silver tone. It's pretty. That's a nice one, too, for a little teenage girl or something. Look how precious. That is really cute. I like that a lot. Very cool. More tons of these studs. Oh my goodness, in every color. And it looks like we are going to get some matching ones. But believe me, I'm going to examine all of these backs. Because I don't know if you're the same, but I'll change earrings and the other earrings may not have a back. And sometimes I may be wearing gold earrings and I'll just wear the same back. Yep. Switch it over to the next pair. So I'll mix and match. Always check that. Oh, this is cute. I think this was a phone charm or something. It's a little crystal heart. Just on a purple ribbon, but I mean on a purple cord, and then it has a little jump ring there, and that's really interesting. Okay. Here's a big piece. More magnets. Oh my goodness, that's three magnets already. They're cute though but I don't need any in a jewelry jar. Hmm. Okay, we have this. I think the stone definitely fell out of there. Maybe we can find a replacement. Very pretty, though. Unfortunately, it fell, popped right out of there. Let's see what we can find to put in there. If we find something, that'd be nice. Here's another big charm. This looks like a cheerleader. Silver tone. Move all these over here for a minute. All right, let's pour out the rest of this thing. See what else we get for eighty dollars. Got some tangles, that's for sure. <laughs> well, it matches the black scheme here. <laughs> 
You gotta be a big time football mom. Big time football mom, guys. <laughs> Stretch ring. Interesting, to say the least. <laughs> oh my goodness, sometimes these little trinkets make me laugh for sure. Oh my goodness gracious, why did they throw these magnets in here? These are just a bunch of little magnets. We're up to five now. Yes, we are. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is just hilarious. All right. Okay, here's kind of a um, nail head design. This is pretty. Reminds me of the John Hardy look. I like that. I do like the gold color on this. This is very pretty. It's a nice long strand, too. So that's very, very attractive. And you can pair these with pearls as well and other things. It always looks so nice. I like that a lot. Hey, Miss Sherry, how are you? I'm glad you're here. That's very cool. I'm trying to find space for it on my table. A stretch. Looks like metal, but it's not. Some kind of acrylic. And is this an earring? It's a butterfly earring. This is cute. It looks like it's out of a shell. Kind of orange and gray color. Yeah, some kind of shell, I think. Maybe a nutshell or something. More of these little things over here. Then we have, I think, more kid jewelry here, but cute. Let me undo this copper one. Is that a penny on there? No, 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 no. Be nice if it was. Oh, it's a cross. That's gorgeous. Oh, it is a penny. Look, they put it on a penny. Again, those crafty things that you would see like on Etsy a lot. Very cool. I really like the beadball chain in copper. I don't think I've ever seen one in copper. I like it. That's really pretty. Wow, I don't know how they did that. And it's even got like a glaze over it. That's pretty cool. Very nice. All right, here's the other thing that was in here. Looks like uh, pink. Station. Very cute. And what else is in here? This is another necklace in here. Let me undo this silver one. This is the one that looks like a kid's, I think. Sure is packed in there though. Oh my goodness. This is a nail design right here. And I'm just going to cut that. It's only a knot. Cut it at the edge here. So I can pull that part out of there at least. Okay, there we go. So that was the uh, kind of a fish, I think, the Ixus fish, Christian fish symbol. And it looks like it's made from a nail or something. Almost looks like pewter. Let me see if I see a mark. I do see a mark on the inside. It looks like a W on the inside there, on both sides actually. On that, okay. I cut minimally. I really, really do. I don't like to cut. This is Stella and Dot. Wow, the one I was thinking was a kid's is actually a Stella and Dot. That's so funny. And a lot of times theirs are sterling, but these are not. I don't know. It's not a Stella and Dot. It may not be. It's the one that's a heart with the little dots because I think Stella and Dot puts Stella and Dot. So I'm not sure which one this is. But it's cute. Oh, look, on the other side, it's rhinestones. On this side, it's green enamel. Then we have a little bird and a little lightning bolt. That's a cute necklace. All right, then this is the pink one that I really liked. Let me get that magnet out of my way. It's getting everything. I need a goth lot. <laughs> a 
Of course I can. Of course. I will. I. You're not the one that likes the Halloween stuff, right? Because there's another lady I'm, I'm saving all the Halloween spooky stuff for, even though it, does, it may not necessarily be pumpkins and ghosts. But um, I will. I will indeed. All right. I will do that. That would be fun. A goth lot. Yeah. God knows I have a lot of that kind of interesting stuff. Well, there's a knot on this one, guys. I'll get it out in a little while. But it's just a very nicely done, very pretty metal work on that. Very cool. Not Halloween. Victorian. Okay, I got you. Kind of like the way, the way my middle daughter wanted to do her apartment. Yeah. I get you. I'll, I'll work on that. I'll do it when I get back. I'll start it today if I find things because I'm opening more jars and recording videos. And then I'll work on showing you when I get back from my road trip, okay? Because I'm trying to get a lot of things done today, get the shipping completely out by tomorrow. Faith, hope, love. Love this. Yes, this is cute with the little anchor. And I don't know if there was supposed to be something in that little bowl. Looks like something fell out. See, can you see some glue in there? Very cool. And I love the chain. Mill maker on it. Very pretty, though. And I have had this necklace before in another color. I think I had it in kind of a orange-yellow combo. This is pretty, though. These are nice. They really are. They look pretty with certain outfits. They really just set it off. You don't even need to put, you know, a fancy outfit when you have the accent of jewelry in my opinion you're the one that loves halloween and i am saving that stuff for you miss denise i'm i've got a whole jewelry box of halloween stuff and uh, i'm going to show you that once it gets to its point a little earring there is this a rosary it is and it's beautiful it's made of some kind of seed or i don't know berry or something a little tangle here I don't see a sterling mark. Many times these are sterling, guys. And, um, yeah, so it's always nice to get a rosary. Look how it got tangled up, though. The little hoop, the little thing goes in there, and it's just done. And this is a Mardi Gras bead, so I'll get my husband to untangle that for me. And we'll get through this quicker that way. Orangey, yellow colored, really bright. I am definitely going to try, Miss Verna. I'm definitely going to try, and not only there, but on the way over there, I'm telling my husband, I, I'm going to stop wherever we see. I'm going to be putting it into my, I'm going to be asking Siri, point me to the nearest thrift store, because that's what I want to do. I've never, you know, oh, look, another one like the green one, guys, that are sterling, but this one's gold. Again, a real stone or a glass stone, but these are sterling, and they have little... Oops, they have little stones, but I don't see the partner yet. Here it is. No. Look, so we've got an array, guys. Someone closed their store. we got two different colors of gold here. These are sterling. <laughs> we'll never make it. No, we're going to leave really early. It's got three little stones. It's got some, um, some bead design there, too, and then... So far, we have matched green ones. We have these that are unmatched, but they are sterling silver. Nice. I hope we do find the other ones, though. We'll never make it. If it was me, I'd be there. I'd make a 15-hour trip, 45 hours. We shall see. Oh, nice bracelet. This is cute. It's stuck in the clasp, but look at that. That is pretty. What do you do with all the jewelry you do not keep? What a great question. I sell it. I share it. I wear it. A blue one. I got some small ones in white. We matched those in the last jars. Oh, here's an interesting one. These are the magnetic ones. Again, the iconic or the icon, religious icons. Catholic icons are actually is usually what you see in here. And this one has to be redone as well. Yeah, I sell on eBay, Etsy, Macari. I have an auction on Saturdays. I will not be there this Saturday. Um, but I have auctions on Facebook. 
every Saturday at 5 p.m. Central. All the details are in my description boxes. Be sure and hit agree if you want to be a member of that group. And it is a free membership. This is cute. Two of them, black and white. Still very nice stretch on those. Very cool. And... Um, yeah, that's over on Facebook. I do not sell on this channel at all. I am going to be on Dee's channel, though, in August. She has booked me for a day in August. I forgot what day. So I think it's mid-August, like the 15th or so. But I'll let you know. I'll do like a preview video or something. We'll talk about it. I'll link her channel. So you can join me over there. I will very likely have a jewelry jar, probably a virgin jewelry jar. What I mean by virgin jewelry jar is one that has not been curated. That's just a term I kind of made up on the on the fly while we were watching an auction a few years ago and uh, to me I was just trying to say one that was never touched by anyone else not made up by a, a reseller but directly Goodwill or thrift store so I will likely have one there but I'm mostly going to concentrate there on selling lots like clothing lots because I'm trying to get away from selling clothing here's a kids on eBay and and shoes and that kind of thing so I want to clear out that kind of stuff some handbag lots and that's what they do over there at that auction they sell lots so we start with a certain price which will include shipping and then you know it's just a great way to move some inventory so i will be on d's channel which is called auctions for you in august i'm super excited about that other than that you'll find me on facebook this is pretty little statement piece every saturday at 5 p.m central and again all those details are in the description box description box is right below your screen guys that's where I describe the video and I give you my email and all that stuff. Here's a little enamel. That's the that's what a description box is. Here's a really cute little earring. I hope I find that one too. And I still need to find those other ones. And here we go with the tangles, guys. Let's just see if anything falls out. Uh, what is this? I can't tell what this is, guys. It looks like um, they were going to do something with it. I don't know. I can't tell. Pretty little colors on these beads. They almost look like the color of Larimar. Don't you guys love the color of Larimar? I do. That's a very expensive stone, though. I do have a necklace that I was selling. I showed it to a lady who was interested in some necklaces. Uh, but it's, you know, a small stone, and, and it was really expensive. So new popular stone these days i do love it though it's like the color of the ocean or the sky maybe i guess where the ocean and the sky meet right it's just a gorgeous color this is cute it is gold tone what a cute little necklace look at that it is like a turquoise color or a sea foam color it's got a cute bird it's got the flower just darling you're beginning to think carmen says i'm beginning to think i'm gonna have to make a thrift road trip <laughs> hey there's nothing wrong with that if you've got the time open road is there just wear your mask wash your hands more okay. goodies thank you babe so yeah let me keep going we're almost done with this gorgeous jar but a few things are tangled so let me try to get through this pretty quickly there chain this one is a 925 i think it's a shark he's pretty look at him no a whale right yeah it's a whale i don't think the chain is sterling but he looks like sterling because i think i see a mark on his tail let me check let me check with my loop here <laughs> he came in to bring the the detangling stuff that i make him untangle Okay, it does say 925. What a pretty whale. I have a whale tail that I love, but I don't think I've ever had a full size whale. I always see dolphins and everything else. Okay, the chain is not sterling, but the pendant is, and it is heavy and marked. Very nice. Orca whale. Look at him. He's marked right there on the tail. Very cool. Very cool. I'm super happy with the jar so far, guys. They're not bad at all. I mean, I sure wish it was a $40 jar, but for me, those days are pretty much long gone unless I go to my other thrift stores, which I just, you know, I'm trying to just 
not venture too far right now in my city where it seems to be a lot of issues happening. What is this? A piece of rubber? Yeah, I hope so. Okay, we do get a match on the pretty earrings here. The little nice colors on those. I like that. Very cool. A bangle, just a cheap little tin bangle. They, those come in every color of the rainbow, I swear. Here's a nice stretch. Oh, <laughs> no, not right now. He brought me coffee earlier, and he made it, so that's good enough. That is good enough. He came home and made it. He didn't make coffee yet. I was still trying to get my invoices straightened out and everything, and he makes it a lot better than I do. He's got it down. Okay, there's a gold chain on a butterfly pendant tangulation here here we go that's cute little painted wood pendant butterfly painted on both sides that is so cute then we have some seed beads and we do have a nice little clasp on that that's cute that may have to go to my granddaughter too but I'm trying to space out the jewelry you know I don't want to overwhelm her either but she has enjoyed the things I've sent this is a double strand, just a gold chain, guys. Yeah, it might even be triple. But it's a nice condition. So, I mean, gold tone. Probably 24 inches long on that. This looks like a nice one, too. And then there's something silver that uh, almost looks like sterling, but let me make sure because there is a tangle in here. Looks like a couple of silver chains in here. There's one coming out. Let's see what it is. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoy the video. Let me know if you want me to vlog from my trip. I will. I will uh, show you where I'm at, where I stopped to get a soda or something. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Thank you. I hope she thinks it's cute. She's um, opinionated. Okay, it's not sterling. It's just a silver tone chain. I will. I will vlog then. Thank you. And then here's a gold one. I'm going to untangle what I can here because it looks like it's just tangled amongst itself. I will, I will. I'll even show you grumpy passengers. Hopefully they won't be grumpy. They shouldn't be. I will not allow them to be grumpy. I don't know. We're used to driving, guys. Uh, my husband was saying that, you know, a lot of times people will say, oh, it's two hours away. Um, and that's like in another state. <laughs> and, you know, they lament about the distance of driving two hours but in texas two hours is you know the commute to work so we're kind of used to it there's supposed to be it's supposed to be a 15 hour drive i'm not going to be able to untangle this this my husband's going to have to do this one. but i will let you see what it looks like so we're kind of used to driving that distance it has a bunch of these little bars i believe it's about the ends so it's a nice look. It's in good condition, but it's very much tangled. It's probably staggered different lengths with these kinds of embellishments. But that's a big tangle right there, and he's going to have to do that. I'll put that in his box. Here, oh my goodness, now we got the earring in, in crystal. That is so funny. I sure hope they pop out of the other jar, too. So we've got like five, and only one set is matched so far. Wow, look at this pretty pink thing. That's beautiful. <laughs> and it's on the sterling chain. I think it's sterling. What does it say? Nine, two. Hold on, it's upside down. IBB. Has the initial IBB on that little bar? I'm looking at the chain right now. Yeah, 925. 
Interesting. Lots of letters on here. But it does say 925. And then it says, I think, I-N-D-O. Yeah. Now let me see if the pendant is marked. The pendant is not marked. The pendant looks like stainless or a silver tone, but it's sure pretty. The chain is super nice and hefty, though. I'm happy to have a nice chain like that. That's probably 24 inches long, or at least 20. And what a beautiful pendant, guys. Oh, my goodness. That's a pretty pink. That's really nice. I love the chain, too. I love having... If anything, these jars pay for themselves with the chains alone. I swear when you get the uh, sterling chains because I really do prefer to sell a pendant with a chain on it. Here's just some little affirmations, love, laugh, that kind of thing on these rings. <laughs> for the pink one. <laughs> okay, oh my goodness. Remember we got one of these? What color was it? I think we got a red one one time. Now here we are with this green. Look at that. Yeah, I think we got one of these in red. What a pretty green. Got this shade of jade there for sure. These are acrylic. Nice. A stretch. Kid style kind of. And then, oh, this is cute. But it's tangled in here. Oh, here it goes. This is nice. Almost looks like a little arrowhead or something. Oh, tassel, wood beads, sparkly beads, silver tone, double, I don't know, I never understand why they have the double lobster claw. But that's nice. Yeah. Embellished with rhinestones and a tassel there. And all the rhinestones are there. Very nice. Here's a piece of something. I think it probably dangled on another neck. Isn't that cute, though? That's very pretty. I need to get that fixed. What do you think I should put it on? More pearls or silver chain? I love it. I love that little graduated pearls. So cute. Okay. Here is another chain here. Chain. Silver tone, big rings of all sorts. Very nice. Good condition on this. These are pretty. Those look nice. They really do. And we have some very extravagant earrings here. Look at that. More small stuff. I think I see sterling in there, guys. Look at those chains. Look at this mess. I'm going to work up an appetite working on those. This is dyed halite. Well, actually, not even dyed. It looks like natural halite in its natural state. Stretch. Let me untangle some. Because <laughs> these bangles are in here. There's a Christmas earring. There's no way I can even... I have to remove everything oh that's pretty little arrowhead bangle with some rhinestones on the point there on the head here's a shell macrame going in the hippie lot another job for robert is right he knows <laughs> here is a what is this a, a ring on a on a bracelet okay let me start unhooking some of these. That's the only way we're going to get them out. There's one there. A turtle! Oh, he's cute. I don't think he's silver, but he's marcasite encrusted there. And what else is in here? Oh my gosh. Wow. This is... This shows promise. Okay, a little shoelace or something. <gasps> How are you, Miss Tammy? I'm so glad you're here from Utah. How are you? A broken piece of jewelry. And 
more chains been here an hour and 10 minutes guys thanks for hanging in there with me hit that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe it's a free subscription you just go over to the right of your screen hit that little rectangle there and then activate the bell so you can be notified when i go live or when i put up a fresh new video this is pretty this little bracelet here maybe i can get this out of here too or am i making it worse what do you think let me unhook that purple yeah this is a necklace i thought it was a bracelet okay looks like we may be able to get this necklace out of here there awesome look at that pretty very pretty all kinds of purple too pink very nice <laughs> right verna that's a good idea but then no we don't need more frustration on the road no this should be a relaxing thing this should be a relaxing thing the thing is, once you get one tangle out of here, they all kind of fall into place. It's when you get frustrated and say, oh, I can't do it. But honestly, that's what I've learned. Once you get a couple of these out, then they all kind of fall into place. Look, here's another one. It's nylon. It's just a culprit. There it goes. Gone. And what is this? Oh, kid says love on it. That's all that is. You got a purple fish and your mother loved it? Awesome. I, was, I, you know, I try to pack my jewelry bags that I sell as grab bags with a variety because I figure you're, you're going to be overwhelmed with all that jewelry, so you'll be able to share it. Everybody has different tastes. Moms, daughters, yourself. So I got to keep that in mind. Okay, here's another hook I need to do, undo, and maybe that'll help. This one is really in here, though. Really in these beads. I almost want to bust these beads. <laughs> I really do, the silver ones because uh, well i don't know we'll see because they almost look like mardi gras beads but i don't know what do y'all think do it <laughs> yeah i really do because i can always hook it back it's just a hook it's just a little hook all it has to all you have to do is unhook it from there but watch just when i say that it's going to let itself loose like, what is this ribbon? What is that ribbon? It's crazy. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up, guys. I do appreciate that. Be patient. Yes, be patient, Thelma. I'm so impatient. I'm trying. I'm trying. Let me see. This is the culprit, too. This is the one that's double strand or something. And that's what's happening. And I really just want to know about the other chain in here. Is this sterling? Gold. See, there's some there's, this one's busted. There's some little ones in here. Those are the ones I'm curious about. I know these are just silver tones. So let me work over here on this side. <laughs> it's all the scissors. I know. I know you're right. See? Here it is. This is the one I'm curious about. This little thin chain right here. Let me get a needle. Oh, no, I can't find a darn needle. Get an earring. Mm -hmm. That's a little crystal in there. It's broken though. So even if it's gold, I'd have to sell it for scrap because um, it's just not worth getting these really small chains fixed. They never really fix them right. 
and I do not see, I see both ends, so I'll just have to test it. It actually looks like it's this one with the crystal though, so it's probably a gold filled. Do you see that? So we will leave that alone. And we'll work on another one over here. This is just a little ball. That's pretty though, a little tassel. Kind of a ball there. And let me see. I think this one might say sterling. This little clasp always looks like it says sterling. So we'll see what that one is. I think we can get some more out now. What does that say? Steve Madden is one of these. Okay. Hmm. All right, there went the Steve Madden coming out. And that is the one with a puppy, copper. No, that's not Steve Madden. That's so cute. It's got a puppy enameled. I don't know what the brand is, a CC on that. And here's the one I thought was Sterling. Whoa, that's a big tangle, guys. Another one that needs to be undone. This one does not look like Sterling. Oh, wow. Look at that. Should we come back? Should we come back to this one? Because I'm going to see if this even says Sterling. See if it's even worth it. No, no Sterling there. No sterling on that one. And let's see what else is in here. It's an interesting ring. Why is that? I don't know where that goes. Little ring there. Oh, a key. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Hmm. Okay, there's one coming out here. Just a costume piece, probably a Claire's or something. Cute. Got another one out. All right, well, we're working on it. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. I don't even know where I'm working anymore. Am I here? Am I there? Where am I? There's another one. Another kid's little lariat style. Does not move, though. And it has a little purple flower. And let me see what else is going to come out. Every time I pull, <laughs> I think about Robert telling me, don't pull. That's the worst thing you can do is pull. <laughs> but that's like my first reaction is to pull. Look at this mess. Oh, my goodness gracious. Let me look at the gold there. Let's look at gold now. What is this? A nail? This looks like a silver chain right here, and it's got a gold nail on it. That's interesting. i got to look at that. So far, we've gotten quite a few sterling necklaces out of here, guys. Well, the chains, anyway. So that's good. How does jewelry do this, guys? Someone should do a... Um, put in, like, one of those lapse time cameras, you know, somewhere in the jewelry bin, and just to see how it happens. Because it happens when I'm just moving jewelry from one jewelry box to another. I'll put them in my hands, and as I'm letting them go to their right full place lots of bonus hairs miss texas gal treasure says look at that everywhere it's not mine it's black um and then all of a sudden i'll look at them i'll have five in my hand or something and they'll all be tangled up again it's crazy all right there's that one. Oh, we got a bangle out nice You love tangles, Carla. Okay, is this the one that I thought was sterling? No, this is the one I thought was sterling. Have I checked a thing? Let me check. And it is not sterling. Okay, so we're not going to bother with that one right now. It is not sterling, but we will. Look, see, all of a sudden they start coming. They start doing what they're supposed to do. 
There it is. Such a great feeling when they start untangling. <laughs> Just a bangle. <laughs> no, no more surgery. We already did. We cut a, a was it a like a cloth? Just a cloth cord. This is a beautiful little necklace, guys. I like that. That's nice. And it's got a little a little wear on the gold, but it doesn't look too bad. It has an antique look anyway. Yeah. All right. And then we got a pink bangle. And there are two chains here. Yeah, so many times I've wound up putting the same chains back in Robert's work box. <laughs> this is cool. This is like a nail with rhinestones around it. And not a silver chain, a Steve Madden chain with a gold nail. That's kind of cool. I like that. And he's like, wait a minute, didn't I just untangle these? And I'll say yes. But as I was putting them away, they got they just tangled up themselves again. Because that's what happens. Okay. Well, I'm going to check the little clasps on these just to see if they say sterling. Just to get my curiosity satiated. Does that one say sterling? I don't see that it says sterling on either one of these little lobster claws. That pretty little turtle only s doesn't say anything, actually. I don't see anything on there. So that's interesting. And what else is in here? There's a gold chain in here. Let me try to find the end of those. And just look at the ends. Here's another, another ring that I can look at. Nope, 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 nope. All right, I think we're going to end it, guys, so you guys can go have your dinner. Whatever you need to do, we're going to just untangle this one later. It was a big mess, but it is kind of self-explanatory here. Obviously, we've got the culprit here, which is all of these type of illusion necklaces. We have almost a Mardi Gras look here, but they're linked instead of knotted. And uh, see, it's already coming apart a little bit. We got a couple more bangles to pull out of here, but I don't see it. Well, this little anchor was cute. I mean, uh, what is it, a helm? But it's just gold tone, too. So there's a few things in there still to see, but I think, um, I think we pretty much saw everything. And I'm very happy with those earrings, even though we didn't get matches on some of them. But the ones we did match up were sterling, and we've got a lot more to hope to get in the other jars. But I'm really happy with these green ones. I think they might be diopside. I don't know. They're just that really rich green. And they are sterling with little CZs or something on the edges. And then we got several, like three different colors in these. Very interesting stuff. Quite a few sterling chains, too. We got a few sterling chains. So I'm happy with it. $79. And this was amazing, this little thing on a sterling chain. Very nice heavy chain, too. I like that. So thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up on your way out. If you haven't subscribed, do it today. I'll see you back here. Remember, I have some more short videos coming your way with recorded jewelry jars. So if you're in a hurry, you can watch one of those. Thanks again, guys. Have a wonderful day, night, whatever it is in your part of the world. Thank you. Bye-bye.